Hey guys, uh, Jeremy here with a review for Teen Titans Go to the Movies. I'll be the first to admit, I am amazingly surprised I went and saw this movie. I was a big fan of the original Teen Titans show. I didn't watch it as much as I would say I watched Batman Beyond or the animated series, but whenever it was on during my high school days, I would pretty much watch it from end to end. I love the voice cast, I thought that was great, and I thought that the show had an edge of maturity that was unexpected but very welcome, especially with the character of Slade, who was voiced by Ron Perlman. And I never thought that Deathstroke would be such an imposing and dark character. His relationship with Raven in that show was amazing. And like I said, Ron Perlman killed it with that voice. However, when the show was canceled or ended and then it came back as Teen Titans Go, I was like, oh cool, they have the original cast back. And then I looked at the animation style and I was like, what the hell is that? And I had friends who were like, if you're a fan of Teen Titans, you won't enjoy this. And I watched a few episodes of it and it was very kiddish. It was very childish. It was like, it was these heroes, but in a very childish set setting, and I was immediately turned off, and I never came back to it. So, when this came out, I saw the reviews for it were pretty good, and I was like, how is that possible? And these people were saying it's not just a kid's movie, it has kid elements in it, but it also has a lot of meta humor, and it even is self-aware of how seriously the show was taken. And then there was this little tidbit at the end, apparently, that really would interest people. So I watched it, and I'll admit, it's like watching a Lego movie, but hand-drawn. The amount of energy, of childish action, of meta-humor, of consistent song, dance, flavor, explosion, and color is very much like watching the Lego movie. Um, the characters are very self-aware of the DC Universe, Marvel Universe, all these other things. There's a lot of really very well written in humor. Admittedly, probably the worst part is the giant balloon guy um, because he is a very immature joke when he bumps that stuff. But the whole movie revolves around the idea of the Teen Titans wanting to get their own movie. Specifically, Robin wanted to get his own movie, but he's always keep on being sidelined for Alfred the Batmobile, the utility belt, everyone getting a hero movie before he does. And it again, it kind of talks about the self-awareness of just how big the superhero movie business is and the self-awareness of the heroes with how much a movie matters to them. And there's a lot of hidden Easter eggs in the background too. It's not just the, what's in front of you, it's what's behind you. There's a lot of these posters, these art pieces that are both interesting movie ideas as well as great uh, parodies of movies that have been made already. And I did enjoy that aspect to it. And there's a lot of really catchy songs, like an inspirational song about life, which just so happens to have Michael Bolton sing in it, which I admit was pretty surprising. There's actually a really funny part with his character. And I admit, I, I laughed out loud a couple of times. I was, I saw this as a matinee showing, but I was laughing at a bit of the jokes in this film out loud, and that was a big surprise. I didn't expect that. It is what it is. It's a very simplistic, very generic. You'll know what the story is the first five minutes you step into the film. But it's the music, the humor, and the meta-awareness that really makes this film above a piece of garbage. And I did enjoy that aspect to it. Admittedly, it's not a very rewatchable movie. I'll just keep listening to that song over and over again. But the film itself, I will probably forget I've seen this. I, when I go and look over my movie tickets, I'll be like, oh yeah, I saw that this year. So it's not exactly the most memorable of movies, but it is an entertaining movie, not just for kids, but also for adults. And there is this little tidbit at the end too that you should stick around for because well, I'll just say it, it looks like they're going to try and bring a mature version of Teen Titans back. Whether it be as a movie, which they've done, they've done Teen Titans or, or Young Justice versus Justice League and all that other stuff. So I really hope that they would 
bring back the Teen Titan show, especially with the animation style that they kind of give a hint to. But then again, I did appreciate that this show points out a lot of the garbage that Teen Titans Go was a part of, and that's pretty cool. I don't know if it's the original creators of the show, but if they did, that's, that's some pretty good balls on them to admit their faults for that. Anyways, I'm gonna give Teen Titans Go to the Movies a four out of seven. It's an enjoyable movie, it's a funny time, it's got some good music, and it's a lot better than I thought it would be. Anyways guys, that's all from me. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, that's all from me. I'll see you guys next time.